In this lesson, we will learn about the three stages of felting. No matter which method you use to make felt, there are always three stages. Firstly, preparing the wool. Second, pre-felting the wool. And thirdly, fulling the wool. Stage one, preparing the wool, includes laying the wool and wetting the wool. Good strong felt usually has two layers. The first layer in all in one direction and then the second layer perpendicular or 90 degrees to the first layer. To lay the wool, hold the halved roving about 10 centimetres from the top. Don't grab tightly as you're hanging on to one end of the other end of the fibres and it's never going to come out. Gently grab the very top of the fibres as few as you can using your fingers and the fleshy part of your thumb. Tease the fibres out and place them gently up against the edge of your sample or area. Continue until you have an even row. Proceed onto the next row, overlapping the edges of the previous row until you have finished one layer. Time for the second layer. Proceed as the first, but lay in the direction that is perpendicular to the first layer. Continue until both layers are complete. You can now add any decoration you'd like, and I'll talk about that in the recipes and choices. When you have finished laying out your wool, it's time to wet it down with the soapy water that we made before. Be careful not to flood any part of the wool as this can move the fibres and create holes in your felt. Remember the saying, less is more. You can always add more, but it's really hard to take it off. At this point, I would take a piece of bubble wrap, bubbles down and gently press the water into the wool. The wool needs to be wet, not sodden. This is the time to check out if there are any holes or thin parts and rectifying it by laying fine wisps to cover them. Stage two is pre-felting. It's where the wool fibres have aligned themselves to each other and the open scales are touching and starting to grab. You know a pre-felt is forming when you lightly rub your fingers across the surface and it moves as one, not as individual fibres. At the other end of the scale, a robust pre-felt, you can't pull any of the fibres loose from the mass. Stage three is fulling. This is when the scales close and the piece starts to shrink. You get something that we call crimp, which is a dimpled texture across the surface. This can be done by two methods, tumbling or tossing. Next lesson, method one, hand roll and toss. 